French President François Hollande spent a day in Angola on his three-nation tour that also takes in Benin and Cameroon. Heading a team of 50 business leaders, he praised Angola for being a stable influence in Central Africa and economically and politically strong. France would like a troop commitment to help efforts in the Central African Republic. Until now, Angola's only made a small financial contribution. There's a lot of work going on in Angola, but also lots of jobs in France in very different areas, like renewable energy or sustainable development. Angola's helped with security in Central Africa. It supported the country when France went in to help stop the massacres and killings. And I want to salute what Angola did during this period. Et euh, des massacres. Et moi, je veux saluer ce qu'a fait euh, l'Angola dans cette période. During the trip, Accor signed a hotels deal, and IFAG is hoping for a bridges contract worth 180 million. Total already gets 10% of its production here and says it wants to help the country diversify. If there's business to do here, the French are ready, as are all European players in Africa right now. I think Africa today is better prepared to cooperate on an equal playing field with Europe and to serve as a partner in the development of business. Wary investors point to a poor human rights record and the fact more than half the population lives on less than $2 a day. À vrai dire, l'Angola est l'étape primordiale. To tell the truth, Angola is the most important of this flurry of visits because of its economic vitality. This regional power is a strategic and economic prize at a moment when Europe is going through one of its worst ever crises. De son histoire, ici à Luanda. France is the third recent European caravan to pass through Luanda after Germany and Italy. Ou Matteo Renzi, François Chignac, Luanda, Euronews.